If you've clicked on this video already outraged at the title for suggesting something so absurd and you've already got your finger hovering over the dislike button as you're ready to write some comment of why I'm wrong, then I have one thing to say to you. Yeah, you're probably right. Hypothetical viewer I've just made up in my head, but just hear me out, because I get it. The Toy Story films are pretty much as close as you get to a perfect franchise. It's the touching story of a boy and his toys as we see his journey through childhood until he eventually grows up and passes them on. But that is wrong. The Toy Story films have never been about that. It's called Toy Story for a reason. Yeah, I, I don't need to spell it out. The biggest argument people have for Toy Story 4 being so unnecessary is the fact that the franchise should have finished after the third film. That is always people's biggest gripe about the fourth installment, which is overall a pretty solid entry. I mean, you seriously can't say this is not a good film. I'll admit, Toy Story 3 rounds up Andy's story nicely. It's a bittersweet, satisfying conclusion, but these movies were never about him. They've always been about Woody. He's always been the focal point throughout this entire franchise. We see his journey, watch him grow as a character, and have to make difficult decisions. And I'll admit, if this was his ending at the end of Toy Story 4, I would have been very satisfied. However, that still didn't stop me from releasing this video back in 2020 titled Toy Story 5 Sequel Pitch. The video now has over 76,000 views and it's the fourth most viewed video on my channel. And overall, most of the comments are very positive. People like this idea. The synopsis pretty much follows that after 15 years of rescuing and finding toys new owners, Woody is beginning to feel lost himself until he hears news that his original owner, Andy, has an entire family of his own and is now a successful published author. However, when discovering that Andy is sick, Woody and the gang must embark on one final adventure to be with Andy one last time. Now, this sequel pitch is not perfect by any means, and there's a lot of things that I would change today, but the base of the story has potential, and most people agreed. Except when I made the creative decision to kill off Slinky Dog, which <laughs> I cannot tell you the amount of comments I've received over the last three years with people devastated that I killed off Slinky. As if this story was somehow canon to the Toy Story lore. And look, looking back at it now, <laughs> I have no regrets. And I would happily do it again. Well, no, not like that. You see, from its storytelling perspective, it just makes sense to kill off the character in a way that dramatizes the... Well, what's going on? Now, so far, we know very little about Toy Story 5. It has been confirmed that Woody and Buzz will be returning. And yeah, I'd hope so, because otherwise there really isn't much point making it. And the film is probably going to come out somewhere around 2025 or 2026. But my guess is as good as any. However, inside scoops and rumours have been going around recently that reveal that Andy and his family might play an important part in Toy Story 5. Now, I'm not saying that I predicted this over three years ago. That, that would be absurd. I would, I would never imply something so outrageous. I could never. But wouldn't that just be perfect? Like, wouldn't that just be so special to make this franchise come full circle? Just imagine if Toy Story 5 ended with Andy's kids playing with his toys, just like how the first film opened all those years ago. That alone would justify this film's existence. And you could do other stuff with it too. If the film is going to have a large focus on Andy and his family, then why not explore the age-old question of what happened to Andy's father? If you haven't checked out the Super Carlin Brothers video on the true story of Andy's father, then I highly recommend you do. It's a roller coaster of emotions, but pretty much the story goes that Andy's father, who was also named Andy, owned Woody when he was a kid and it was his favourite toy as he was battling polio. But eventually, Woody got stored away for decades and just before Andy Sr. was about to die, he gifted Woody to his son and that is why Andy loved Woody so much. But because Woody was stored for so long, he pretty much just froze in time, meaning he didn't realise that his original owner had died and Andy is his son. That is just the tip of the story. The video goes into so much more detail, so I highly recommend you check it out. After this video, don't leave yet. We still have more to discuss. 
But if this movie had the guts to tell that specific narrative, it would be fire. Having Woody recall all of these memories, maybe even standing over the grave of Andy Senior, coming to the realization that while toys can pretty much live forever, their beloved owners will always move on. Okay, maybe it won't be that intense, and who knows if they're actually gonna go down this road, because there is the chance they're just gonna take the safe route and make the toys go on some big grand adventure, which is fine, don't get me wrong, we love that, but if the film was willing to do something a little more deep and meaningful and take some risks, it could really cement itself as something truly great. And you know, it's Pixar. You know they can pull it off, but even still, I'm kind of worried, guys. Sure, I'm confident that Toy Story 5 will be a home run. I mean, the previous four installments were sensational. Their track record would suggest there's nothing to worry about. But that's why I'm concerned, because one slip up and this is no longer the perfect franchise it once was. It only takes one bad film. Disney has been in a rough patch recently, with Disney Plus losing subscribers, movies failing or falling short at the box office. It's not exactly looking positive. And when they announced this news to their shareholders, what did they do to soften the blow? They announced the upcoming releases of Zootopia 2, Frozen 3, and Toy Story 5. And that right there is why I'm concerned, because who isn't to say that Disney just didn't approach Pixar and say, Hey, Pixar, how's it going? I uh, just wanted to drop in and tell you that you're making Toy Story 5. Okay. I'm sorry? Oh yeah, no, you heard me right. Just make it happen. Yeah, but didn't we say that Toy Story 4 was going to be the final film? Yeah, well, that's what we said about Toy Story 3, so... Tough. Look, I mean, we've floated the idea before, but... We just don't really think there's a story worth telling. What did you just say? Uh, um, we, we floated the idea, but we really just don't think- No, 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 not that. Did you just say... Story? Yeah, I mean, if the story's not worth telling, then there's really not much point. Since when is the story mattered, huh? Oh, people are gonna see it anyway, no matter if it's crap. And we're just gonna sit back and watch the toy sales roll in. It's never been about the story. We've just got to have money! Okay, so maybe that's not exactly what happened, but you get the idea. I do genuinely believe there is a story worth telling here, but I'm just hoping it's not made purely as a cash grab. Because sure, films can have the intention of making a lot of money. There's nothing wrong with that, but as long as there's passion and love behind the project, that is what matters. Lightyear was probably what Pixar thought was going to be their next big thing, but when that kind of failed, they're like... Oh, well, we could always go back to Toy Story. I honestly don't even hate Lightyear. I think the first 40 minutes or so are solid. It's action-packed, comedic, and there's this one scene that makes me cry every time. Wait. <laughs> nah, surely not every time. To infinity. And beyond. <sighs> yep. Every time. The way I see it, I don't think making Toy Story 5 is a bad idea. The fact that they can wrap up this series in a heartfelt, conclusive way that also allows for fans that might not have liked the ending of 4 to feel satisfied is a win for me. We are still a few years off this movie coming out, so I'm sure more details will be released in the coming months and years and whenever this movie ends up coming out. Realistically, it probably won't come out until after I'm 20 at least, which, yeah, I don't even want to think about that. But let me know in the comments down below, are you excited about Toy Story 4? Are you concerned? Are you still one of those people that are fuming that they made Toy Story 4? Because seriously, it was years ago, just let it go. Either way, let me know in the comment section down below. That is all for today's video. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, consider subscribing to the channel and giving this video a big thumbs up. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next Friday.